it is a big year for us here in Chicago. We're so excited. As you said, it's the 25th anniversary of the James Beard Awards. That's big. And the fact that they're here in Chicago is big because that means that we're going to have great talent from all over the United States descending on our city to eat in our restaurants, experience our food culture. Uh, it's it's going to be really a great event. And for us here at Kendall College, being the number one culinary and hospitality school in Chicago, this is a really proud moment for us. And we really share in, in all of this James Beard Award you know, excitement for our students. They're going to have exposure to, to the chefs, to what's going on as well. And it helps them to dream about what they could do someday. And very selfishly, it's a, it's a good year for Kendall. We've got, of our graduates, five graduates who were semifinalists and two graduates who are nominees. And so we um, have all of our fingers crossed and hope their names are, are announced at the award ceremony this year. Now for us at Kendall, we spend a lot of time thinking about the future of food. I mean, it's all about quality education here. And we have to be sure that we prepare our students for the food world five years from now. So we spend a lot of time looking at trends. And when we looked at you know, some of the trends that we've been following uh, and, and the fact that you know, we've niched out these trends and we looked at the James Beard nominees and said, what are they doing? What are they cooking? We noticed that what they're doing is actually you know, telling us or reinforcing these trends that we've niched out. So let me give you three of them. The first is what we call the old is now new. And what that means is that, you know, things that were sort of out there before, forgotten, now they're back, but they're back in new and interesting ways. For instance, cider is back. Hard cider, alcoholic cider, fun cider is back in lots of new ways and chefs are doing really interesting stuff with it. The other one there is punch. You know those punch bowls that we grew up with, with you know, sort of the seven up and sherbet and you weren't really sure what was in them exactly? They're back and they're back in new and exciting ways. So you have chefs that are, are doing things like putting different bitters in there, different fruit juices, uh, different alcohols, unique combinations of things. And it's all about this communal idea of dining. So, you know, bring the punch bowl to the table and everybody shares. Second big trend is what we call the side is now the star. And what that means is that there's a bunch of ingredients that have been around before. They've always been there, but they've been in a, a sort of supporting role. And now they're moved into the limelight. For instance, carrots. Carrots have been around forever, but now they're center stage. And chefs are doing really interesting stuff with carrots. So you have roasted carrots with miso glaze, you have smoked carrots. You even have carrots in dessert, carrot mousse with some coffee glaze on the outside. The other one there is charcuterie 2.0. Now charcuterie, I mean, as, a, as an instructor, I taught charcuterie for many, many years. I loved when charcuterie plates came back. Well now, 2.0, is that it's not just about the meats on that charcuterie platter, but it's about those supporting elements. It used to be a little mustard, a little cornichon. Well, now that's become center stage. So chefs are doing really interesting stuff with mustards, creating their own, preserving, doing pickles or making pickles with just about anything. Now, the third big trend is ramen. And ramen, that thing we grew up with, uh, instant noodles, inexpensive, and several years ago, it started to come back in really great restaurants and chefs were interpreting ramen in very creative ways. Now, the trend that we're watching is what we call mega ramen, which means that ramen is becoming a mega trend. It's a trend that's going to be with us for a long time. And that sort of makes sense because it's about comfort food. And we see chefs that are doing great stuff with ramen. Interesting, delicious ideas.